person can save us now. The one and only Tommy Zoom. Hi, Tommy Zoom. Respect. Brand new Tommy Zoom. <laughs> Saving the planet starts Monday at 4:30 on CBeebies. <laughs> outside today. Oh no, I've left the window open. Wow, look at the snow. Oh, aren't snowflakes great? Hmm, this has given me an idea. Let's try something. A brilliant colour pattern that's made using a paper snowflake. Let's make it. We'll need some things from the Doodle Drawers. <laughs> some coloured paint. <laughs> some paper. <laughs> some pieces of sponge. And some scissors. Woo! Now, to make a pattern with a snowflake like this one here, first fold a square of paper in half and then in half again. And then fold one corner over to the other to make a triangle. Now get your scissors. But be careful because scissors are sharp. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Now we're going to cut one of the corners off here in a curve shape like this. Now we're going to cut shapes out of the two straight sides here. Now you can pick any shape you want, but I think I'm going to do a triangle first. Here we go, triangle coming up. Now the most important thing to remember is to leave space between your shapes, like this. I'm going to do a curve shape now, I think. Why not? There we go. Now I think we need one more shape over here, and I'm going to do another triangle. There we go. Now, if we unfold our paper shape, we should have, there, a paper snowflake. Lay your snowflake shape onto your paper. Like that. And then using a paintbrush or a piece of sponge, dab some paint over the holes. And then, when you're done, leave it to dry for a couple of minutes, which will give you time to do whatever you want for a couple of minutes. <laughs> oh, that was a quick couple of minutes. Ready to paint. Oh, thank you. Now, let's do the same again, but this time, twist the snowflake round a bit, like that, and dab on a different color paint. And then, when you're done, leave it to dry for a couple of minutes, which gives you time to do whatever you want for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Ooh, that was a quick couple of minutes. Ready to paint again. Thank you, again. 
Now do the same again. Give it a twist. Like that. And dab on a different colour. All done. Now let's take the snowflake away. It looks marvellous. What a pattern. And you can try cutting other shapes into your folded paper too, like this. This one's got bigger triangles and diamond shapes. This one's got small sausage shapes in it. And this one's got diamond and petal shapes. Oh, do you hear that snoring noise? Guess who's making that? These are the shapes. Ah, they're asleep. Let's wake them up. <laughs> hey, 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 take it away. Oh, hey, ah, yeah. The triangles are making a picture. What's it going to be? Can you guess? It's a peacock! Well done, triangle! It's time to get back on the shelf! <laughs> I just love those shapes! It's brilliant when... Tucky here! Oh, minute make time! Minute make time! Ooh, it's minute make time! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. It's a handy pot that holds a lot. A lot of what? Whatever you want, really. It's really handy and it looks great. Look at its amazing torn-out nighttime scene. Now, to make this pot, you'll need a pot. An empty one, really, like this. You'll also need some sticky tape, some glue, lots of different coloured stickers, including some stars, and some sheets of coloured paper. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just a minute? No way! Really? Let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute! Right, the first thing to do is to get our black bit of paper and start tearing any shape you like, up and down, up and down. Now, this is going to make the torn out nighttime scene. There we go, get that bit there, move that down. It doesn't matter what shape you make, that's the beauty of this idea. My granny could go quicker. I'm going as quick as I can, Toki. There we go. Right, now get the other bit of coloured paper and some glue and stick this, there we go, along there and stick it on to our red like that. Hurry up! Now let's get some stickers on. There's one, there's two and there's three. And how about some stars in the sky? There's one and two there. Right, now let's get this and put it around our tub like that and stick it with some tape. Done! Time! 
just in time. And when you've finished, it can hold whatever you want, like pencils, some paintbrushes, and even a plant. And if you've got more than a minute, why not try some other torn out designs, like a seaside? Or even a countryside one? It's a pot that holds a lot, made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Tear some black paper to make a nighttime scene. Put on some glue and then stick it to the red paper. Add some stickers for windows and stars. Then stick it around your handy pot like this. Try making it in a minute. Hello, Mr Maker. Guess what we're making today? Oh, I don't know. Hmm, tell us. I'm green. I'm pink. Done, everyone. See you next time. Now it's time to frame it. Frame it. Frame it. Now have a look at this. Here's a great idea using a cuddly toy. It's really simple to make and looks so good you'll be able to frame it. You'll need coloured paper, a wax crayon and a cuddly toy like this bear. First of all, lay your bear on top of the paper. Now take a wax crayon and carefully draw around the outside of the bear. Look, by drawing around the body of the bear, you get a perfect bear shape. Finished. Well, not quite. This bear is a bit lonely. Let's draw him some friends on a different coloured paper. Now for the really fun bit. Tear all of the bear shapes out. The great thing about tearing is that you don't have to be too careful. Try and stay on the drawn line, but it doesn't matter if you go a bit over. Now stick your bears onto a different coloured paper to show off their colours and shapes. What a fantastic toy picture! And you can draw around any toy you want. Why don't you try it? What a great way of making a really clever picture. Now all that's left to do is... Frame it! I love making pictures out of all sorts of things. So, let's make a picture out of shelves. Whoa! <laughs> I spy a horse. And now I spy something else. Oh, hello, Mr Ant. How are you today? <gasps> oh, it's you. Oh, this is Mr Ant. He's my pet. He's easy to look after. Yeah, but, oh, he does eat a lot of leaves. Yeah. Mm. This gives me an idea. Let's make something. Your own giant Mr Ant, made from an egg box. 
Let's make it! We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. <laughs> You'll need an egg box. <laughs> some bottle tops. <laughs> white paper and a pen. Some pipe cleaners. Some paint. And some sticky stuff. Whoa! Now, to make your very own giant Mr Ant, like this fella here, you first need to make his body. And for that, we need an egg box. Now, take your scissors and very carefully cut out two of the egg cups. Now, be careful, because scissors are sharp. Whoa! Ooh. Now, you might find this a bit fiddly, so it's probably best to ask an adult to help you. Now you're left with this, your ant's body. Let's give him some legs. And for that, we need three pipe cleaners. One, two, three. Right, hold them together like this in the middle, and then bend the top pipe cleaner up like this, and then bend the bottom pipe cleaner down like this. There. Now let's stick those together in the middle with uh, some sticky tape. There we go. And there, we've got ourselves some ant legs. But we need some antennae. For that, we need another pipe cleaner. And we're going to cut this very carefully in half. Now, this half of the pipe cleaner is going to make the antennae. Look, we need to bend it into this shape. Let's bend it round like that. And two little bits at the top as well. There, we've got some antennae and we've got some ant legs. So let's bring our body back in and stick everything together. Now, he's nearly an ant, but there's something missing. Hmm. Oh, eyes! Yes, we can use bottle tops as eyes. Let's stick them on. Using some sticky tape. Here's one. There's his second eye going on there. There! Yeah, perfect! Now he's ready to paint, and I think I'm going to paint him red like Mr Ant over here. Yes, why not? There you go! You've made yourself your very own Mr Ant! Now, if you add an extra pair of legs and some wool, you could make yourself a giant spider! Ah! Or you could use more of the cups from the egg box and make a giant caterpillar. They look great! Even better than the real thing! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mr Ant! <laughs> You're my favourite, really! I should think so, too! Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> oh, time to go! Time to go! Oh, no! That's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. See you soon. It's time to put all this stuff back in its box. If you like making things like Mr Maker, visit bbc.co.uk forward slash cbeebies for more ideas. Five racing rockets. Four shooting stars. Three lunar moons. And two 
alien giraffes. That's all in space. But our home is here, on a very special place called Planet Earth. It's got oceans and forests and lots of countries too. It's got animals and deserts and it's also got you.